Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you are tuning in. Welcome to Homesteading and Gardening in the Suburbs with Misfit Gardening. I'm Emma from Misfit Gardening and today we are talking all about growing potatoes and tyres. So stay tuned right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. So, potatoes and tyres. Why Why would you even want to do that? Well, I'm a really big fan of growing more food in smaller spaces and tyres are a fantastic tool that can allow you to grow not just ordinary potatoes but also sweet potatoes um, and other rooting crops in a small space. So tyres are really easily available to most people in an urban area. There's lots of places you know really where you have to pay to have them disposed so next time you get your tires changed why not consider seeing if you can keep your tires and use them in the garden instead i've actually seen lots of cool things that people have done with tires from making them into like real cool little seats for people all the way through to having a full-on garden with them um, but today we're going to focus on growing potatoes so tires make it easy to grow potatoes because they are relatively easy to stack and as you stack another tire on you basically add more compost to that tire and you just keep on going um, you know as the potato leaves um, uh, grow up and over the tire and the plant's going to keep producing potatoes in that space. Now the potatoes I grew in I only did two tires deep and I used the tires off um, our truck to do that so and we actually got a pretty decent harvest from them um, I grew Norland red and Viking purple potatoes um, in those um, tires and you know what we got a relatively decent harvest um, I certainly haven't been able to weigh it but it's at least a grocery bag full of potatoes which is more than enough for us we don't eat a lot of potatoes as a family um, but it was definitely enough um, for us to you know to have over summer and there's nothing quite like having fresh potatoes and these ones were really really good so many different um, you know options to grow your food in but potatoes and tires are one of those things that seems to be more predominant in Europe than um, I've ever seen in the US however um, I've started seeing it a little bit more and I was recently on a business trip to Pennsylvania and I was able to um, take a little bit of time and go to the Hershey Gardens and whilst I was there I was looking um, around the kids garden and the hoop house that they had in there because that's where the veggies were growing and they were growing potatoes in tires as well they also had strawberries growing in a laundry basket which was also equally cool um, but the fabulous thing about the tires is that tires are able to retain soil water and mulch you can use them you know as a potato tower you can use them as a worm farm a herb garden and loads of other stuff They're also cheap and easy to come by and many people paint them because they don't like the look of, you know, a day big tire. Um, so I've seen lots of people who've spray painted them to make them, you know, look a bit nicer. 
Um, there is some conflicting information about the safety of growing in tires. Um, basically, um, as tires break down, they evolve certain gases and those um, can be hazardous. And there's also some concern about during the breakdown, um, any heavy metals. Um, so that's not the music that I listen to, but it's um, the heavy metal elements. Um, so things like your cadmium, your lead, your mercury, things like that, um, which m may be present. Um, there is not a definitive yes or no on whether tyres are safe. Um, tyres are, are manufactured um, with hazardous chemicals and, you know, there's even OSHA safety standards that apply to those manufacturing the tyres, but there isn't anything, um, you know, to categorically state if they are safe or not um, afterwards. And, you know, some people say that they can taste, um, you know, tyres in their potatoes too, certainly for the ones that we've grown we can't tell the difference between the potatoes that have been grown in the tires and the potatoes that have been grown in the raised bed that we've got that's made of wood so for us we can't taste a difference but really you know do you do do your research um you know and have a look at all the information that's out there for you on both sides of the coin so those who say that it is safe and those who say that it isn't and come to your own conclusion about whether or not that you want to use tires to grow food in all right now we're going to jump into how to grow potatoes in tires and you know what, this is probably one of the easiest ways that I've ever grown potatoes and it's definitely something that I keep coming back to to be able to grow my potatoes and there's a couple of reasons why. So number one, it is really easy to do. Um, number two, I can grow more of them in that smaller space by stacking them up. Number three, you know, it's very self-contained. I don't need to worry about, you know, potatoes spreading everywhere. Um, you know, I know exactly where they're going to be. They're not going to be outside of the tires at all. And they're easy to harvest as well, as long as you don't go too high with your tires, because obviously, you know, it's going to get heavy. Um, you know, they're pretty straightforward to be able to harvest in. And, you know, it's something that can be done you know, really quickly. I mean, when we harvested both of our potato towers um, from the tires, it maybe took half an hour at most. I didn't have to do any digging and the soil that was left, I just scooped up and I added it to um, the compost bin and some of our trial gardens you know i didn't want to reuse that compost for uh, in the tires again for more potatoes so i put it to good use by putting it straight into the compost pile and on another bed that wasn't growing anything from the nightshade family so that's potatoes and tomatoes um peppers and oak and um aubergines or eggplant so growing potatoes and tires you're obviously going to need some tires um you preferably want them to be all the same size because then they're easier to stack one on top of each other you need compost or raised bed soil you need some potatoes and if you're growing on grass or on a weedy spot then i highly recommend that you get some cardboard to put down first so first of all you are gonna if you're growing on grass or weeds or anything put some cardboard down okay put a couple of layers it's gonna stop um that grass and weeds from coming up then you're gonna want to um you want to clean your tires and um you know i just use straight up um dish soap and water and um you know a stiff brush i got rid of any you know grease or grime from the tires off the road and um just kind of gave them a good scrub inside and out it made them a bit nicer for me to handle as well because they weren't covered in you know yuck or anything like that you don't have to clean the tires um but i recommend that you do um it is like i said it's just nicer to handle them you know because you're not going to get like 
dirt and muck all over you when you're rolling them around. So next you're going to put the tyre straight on the ground if you're um, growing on a patio or you know like a concreted or paved area. Um, if you're growing um, you know on the on the grass you're going to put the tyre on the cardboard that you've put down. Okay. Now you can use less soil in your tyres by stuffing inside of the tyre edge with straw and that does rot down and it will help feed the plants. One word of caution with doing that is um, you can end up with mice or voles or small little rodents um, setting up home in your tyres because you're you know creating like an ideal kind of nest for them. Um, I did put the straw around the tyres because I didn't have loads of compost available and I did end up with a couple of mice in each of the tyres um, which did freak me out a lot when we came to harvest them and I say it freaked me out a lot I screamed and screamed and screamed um, and yeah I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was on video because my um, stepson was helping record so I could um, put the harvest up on YouTube as a video um, but there's basically me screaming on it for quite some time um, so I've not gotten around to uploading that just yet um, but um, you know you, you don't have to put the straw in there I've seen people that have used like shredded paper to help cut down on the amount of um, compost that they're using in there and to help make it a little bit lighter um, it's entirely up to you you can put straight up compost or raised bed soil in there um, and it'll work just fine um, so basically you want to fill that whole tire space all the way up to um, the top of it um, you know with compost but before you fill it all the way you're going to fill it about halfway to three quarters and you're going to pop your potatoes in now you want to put your potatoes rows end up and that basically means that the shoots um, or the buds on it like they're known as eyes so the end that's got the most of those is going to be upwards and that's what we mean by rows end up you're then going to cover those potatoes with a couple of inches more of compost and then you're going to water it well. Now to get a good harvest of potatoes you want to make sure that you chit your potatoes before you put them in the container to grow. And chitting basically means that um, you've let those eyes sprout. So they sprout a bit and then you can go ahead and plant them and that's the way that most um, people grow potatoes um, especially in the UK so the next thing that you're going to want to do is to allow them to grow you're going to grow let the leaves grow a few inches and then you're going to cover them with some more compost or raised bed soil and then but you don't want to um, cover them so deep that you're gonna um, block it out the light completely so what I like to do is when those leaves start to pop up through that first tire I'll then put a second tire over and then when that second um, tire is on I will put um, a bit of compost maybe about an inch of compost over those leaves and then those leaves will grow up a bit more and then I'll cover them again with more compost and then they'll grow up a bit more and we'll cover them again and we'll keep doing that until the next tire is full and then you know I might consider putting a third tire on top of that and then um, do the same process so let the leaves come up a bit cover it with compost let the leaves come up a bit cover it with compost so you can um, also cover with straw I've seen um, people do that as well and straws also got the added benefit of acting as a mulch and helping to keep the water in so you want to make sure that your potatoes are going to be kept moist in there they don't want to be um, soaking wet um, but you definitely want the soil to be moist so that's going to help your potatoes to grow um, you can also give them an occasional feed with some 
organic fertilizer um, you can use a fish emulsion and kelp um, fertilizer or I mean I I predominantly use um, fertilizers that I make myself using weeds from the garden um, so that's mostly what I use for the majority of um, my growing um, plants um, here on my homestead um, and then you know eventually you're going to reach a point where you can't um, put more tires on either you don't have any more tires or it's going to be too tall for you to manage always take um, that into account you know are you going to be okay to harvest this um, you know don't put it so tall that it's going to be you know a hazard for it to topple onto you um, I typically don't go higher than three tires um, you know that's just kind of what's comfortable for me to manage on my own so eventually your leaves and stalks are going to yellow and start to die back and this is going to be very dependent on you know when you planted your potatoes um, what sort of climate you have the variety of potatoes that you harvested all that good stuff so once those yellow and start to die back you can remove the tire and the compost and start to harvest your potatoes so i recommend getting a large tarp and putting that um, right next to your potato tires and then um, that tarp's gonna catch that compost and potato tubers that are going to be coming out so it's going to make it easier for you to search through them and it's also going to save all that compost so you can reuse that around your garden um, as you see fit so basically you start taking off the tires uh, one by one from the top and obviously you're going to have soil and things falling down in them um, you may find potatoes that are growing like inside um, the lip of the tire and you know you may also find um, that you've got bigger potatoes towards the bottom and you've got you know smaller potatoes at the top so the potato tubers are typically in the lower tires and you can usually find them pretty easily with your hands um, especially if you've got like a nice light fluffy uh, raised bed soil in there and once you've harvested your potatoes um, you want to look at curing them before storing them especially if you're storing them for winter so that's pretty much it on how to grow potatoes and tires i hope that you guys found this um, useful until next time i'm emma from misfit gardening and i hope that your garden grows absolutely wonderfully this season until then bye bye for now <laughs>